Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We're going to continue our different format here with videos. And today we're going to talk about our CAW system. Our CAW system carbon absorbing wall, you can see it in the project section of our website. It's the very last video. We always keep it last so it's easy to refer to. When you get time, watch that video because that will describe how the process works. And we're going to talk a little bit about that process today. So remember from past discussions that a room is a box. I mean, you can think about it as a speaker cabinet. And inside that box, we have two things going on, pressure and reflections. And both have to be managed. And both have to be managed with different technologies. This is where a lot of people get confused. They think uh, low frequency management and middle and high frequency management are all done by the same processes. And this is partly to blame on the ignorance of people and not understanding the physics behind it, but also on the propaganda that a lot of these companies put out. You know, the classic example of foam being a, a low frequency or base absorber is a good example of that when, when there's no way foam can do that. It's just not built to do that. So we have pressure and reflections that we have to deal with. And I, I'm sure most of you that have, that have been around for a while have seen discussions about how to position yourself out of pressure issues within the room. You know, they, they tell you to put your chair here, your speakers here, because that will help you avoid room modes or unwanted pressure that can exaggerate or eliminate certain octave bands and sounds completely. But wouldn't it be nice to have a room where none of that mattered? You could position your gear wherever you wanted to. And that's what our goal is with the CAW. You know, we, we designed the CAW system because we didn't want any of this nonsense about put your chair here, put, put the speakers here. You'll avoid, you know, this room mode at this frequency. But then you'll, you'll find another because they're every 36 to 48 inches in the room. You're not going to position yourself out of that. The goal is to have a room where everything is balanced. The pressure in the room is balanced. And how do we do that? Well, the easiest way to do that is to turn the room into a low frequency absorber. And that's what we do with the CAW. We want to focus on the pressure issues below 100 hertz. And we're going to use the walls to assist us. And if you look at the walls, if you step back and look at a wood frame wall, what is it? It's a series of miniature diaphragmatic absorbers. And we've discussed our diaphragmatic absorption process in, in many videos in the past, and you can refer to those. But in summary, diaphragmatic absorption is the most powerful of all low frequency technologies. So that's the one we're going to use. So a wood frame wall in the CAW system is a 2 inch by 12 inch stud because we need that 10 to 12 inches of stud space depth to get down to 30 hertz. And that's the goal with diaphragmatic absorption. And what is the distance between each stud? Well, it's 14 and a quarter inches approximately with a 16 inch on center frame. So we have 14 and a half, let's just call it 14 inches of space to work with. And we know that the average room mode is 36 to 48 inches wide. So we can take a bite out of that pressure problem every 14 inches because the pressure is going to be highest at the wall surface, right? So we're going to determine the frequency of issue on each wall because each wall is different. We're going to determine the amplitude of that issue or strength on each wall because each wall is different. And then we're going to adjust our stud space depth and our stud space filter thickness to accommodate and treat that frequency and amplitude problem at that wall surface. And we have really good data on determining that. We can tell you exactly. Where that, low, where that problem is coming from, and what we need to do to treat it. So 
The depth of the cavity, the depth of the stud, determines how low in frequency the diaphragmatic absorption process starts to work at. And then our carbon filters, the thickness of them determines the rate of absorption. So we can look at frequency, we can look at amplitude, the strength, and we can say how much, how thick do we have to make our carbon filters to accomplish that, and we have that kind of data. So if you look at the carbon filter graphic here, you can see that it's a perforated absorber with our proprietary carbon technology inside. And that goes inside the stud. And the stud will have different depths to accommodate different frequency issues. But the thickness of the carbon filter, that determines the rate of absorption or how much energy we get. Stud space depths are going to be somewhere between 8 and 10 inches on average throughout the room. And then the surface treatment in the room is the skin. We call it the skin. And that has a certain thickness. Now in our CAW system, we've elevated it up. We used to use plywood on a face, but now we've used veneered 1-inch MDF. We found that increasing the density of the wall uh, surface area to 4.4 pounds gets us another 11 points in performance. So right now on all our new CAW builds, we use one inch MDF, and you can buy veneers on it, get it to look any way that you want to. But keep in mind that most of that surface area will be covered with treatment as we move through the the room design process. So inside the walls goes the low frequency management using this CAW system. That's the goal. Middle and high frequency technologies like foam and diffusion, they hang on the wall. You can see here, here's a CAW system that's done that was skinned with cherry MDF, and then it has our foam technology hanging on the wall. So Low frequency management inside the wall, middle and high frequency management hangs on the wall. So that's the combination that we want to use. So back to our CAW system, that's the best place to manage energy, low frequency energy, because we turn the whole room basically into a base trap. I don't like that term, but, but it's a term people understand. The low frequency energy is not trapped by anything. So it's like noise. You know, you, you have to realize that you're just managing it. You're not eliminating it or, or trapping it. So we do the same thing to the four walls, the floor, and the ceiling. Now, most rooms have floor to ceiling issues, and we need to treat those. Depending on the resolution of the room that the project requires, we may have to treat both the floor and the ceiling. That happens in about 20% of our project. Most of the time, we can treat either the floor or the ceiling. So one way to, to do that, obviously, is to put the CAW system into the ceiling, and we do that all the time. And then sometimes we put it into the floor. Now, a lot of times, that option is not available. So we have to figure out a way, how do we treat the low frequency pressure from floor to ceiling if we can't do the floor or we can't do the ceiling? We've done the four walls, so we're good there. But most of the time in today's rooms with eight, nine, 10 foot ceiling heights, we have severe low frequency problems, you know, 60, 50, 60, 70, 80 cycle energy that's causing a problem from floor to ceiling. So if we can't go up into the ceiling with the CAW system, and we can't frame out the floor for the CAW system, what can we do? Well, this is where our platforms come in. And you go to the shop section of our website and see all kinds of platforms. You can see drum platforms, speaker platforms, um, listing position, platforms, and that's what we're going to talk about now. In most rooms, we either have a choice of treating the floor or the ceiling. 
if we can't do both with the CAW, then we have to use an external system like a platform. Now, our platforms are the same technology as the CAW. They're just in a modular form that you just lay down on the floor and put together, and they have a non-stick surface on them, and you set your chair on them. So this deals with the floor-to-ceiling issue. Because remember, in rooms, we have three sound fields. We have floor to ceiling, sidewall to sidewall, and front to rear wall. So the platform is a great way to treat the floor to ceiling pressure problems right underneath the listening position. And the best place to locate low frequency management technology is as close to the source of the energy, let's say a subwoofer, or as close to the listener as you can get. In the riser in theaters, home theaters, we put a lot of low frequency management into the riser because that'll treat the floor to ceiling pressure issue. And it's a great place to put it. So it's a great place to locate low frequency because most of the time you're going to be rise, have the chairs up 10 inches or so or 12 inches. Uh, because if you have different rows, you're going to elevate each row. So the riser is a great place to put low frequency management and the platforms are a great place to do it. Now, if you raise the listening position up 10 inches, you're gonna also have to raise the speakers up if it's a two channel uh, situation because you want everything firing at the same height and plane as the speaker. So you wanna make sure that you get that. So remember, I keep talking about this, but it's really important because as I talk to people with room forms and, and the calls that come in, I don't see an understanding that there's three rooms within your room. There's three sound fields that need treating, sidewall to sidewall, front to rear, and floor to ceiling. They all have different problems. So that's why I always say there's three rooms within your room. Because they're all different frequency issues. Floor to ceiling is 50 to 80 cycles as a range. And then the walls can be 30 to 200. It just depends on dimension. Everything depends on the room dimension. So keeping those three sound fields in mind, we realize that we have to treat all of those areas. And the higher the resolution of room that you want, the greater surface area coverage we need. We're offering three rooms now in terms of resolution. We found that if we can offer these three resolutions to people, it helps them understand a little bit better about what they're purchasing and what the end result is gonna be. So we have three resolutions of rooms now. We have 70%, 80%, and 90%. 70% is for consumers people that just want the room to sound better. That met, mostly involves reverb management, not so much on the low end side, mostly the middle and high frequency side. The 80% is both, low frequency management, middle and high frequency management. And that's for people with listening experience of 10 to 15 years, professional mix engineers. And then our 90% resolution rooms, those are for mastering. Very high resolution. We have a lot of people that want that resolution of room for their two channel systems. Not so much their theater, but for two channel. They want as much of the room to be managed, the problems in the room to be managed, that, you know, it's not going to be an issue and they don't have to hear it, or in the case of mastering engineers, work around it. So that's our CAW system in a summary. It's a series of diaphragmatic absorbers built into the walls themselves. So that way you don't have a lot of large refrigerator style boxes sitting around because low frequency management is all about square footage of coverage and rate and level of absorption. Well, how much better can you get in terms of absorption surface area coverage than the whole wall itself? So this is how we improve resolution. On our new CAW designs, you follow our instructions and you build the room the way we design it. We'll guarantee the frequency response for you. 
We've been guaranteed in response on our new designs, plus or minus 1.5 dB from 30 hertz to 16K. So it's a nice, smooth balance. And then anything that you want to get flatter, you can EQ. But EQing 1 or 1.5 dB issues way different sonically than EQing plus 12, plus 13 dB peak. So that's our CAW system in a nutshell. For those of you that are considering building a new room, for those of you considering retrofitting or uh, knocking out a wall and, and making an existing uh, listening room larger, this is the way to go. Because you're going to have to manage low frequency, middle frequency, and high frequency energy. And low frequency energy is best managed inside the walls using the CAW system. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.